So what are the biggest online video trends for content creators this year? We're at NAB and I'm gonna be breaking down my top five in this video. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And we're here at NAB, the show actually just wrapped up, and wanted to talk about the top five biggest online video trends that I really noticed this year from the show. So let's jump into it with the first one. The first big trend that I've been noticing is live streaming. Now we talk about that a lot here on Think Media TV, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Instagram Live. There is such an opportunity right now to build your brand and your influence with live streaming, but there's also rising competition every day. So how can you stand out? And one of the ways is to raise the production value of your live streams. And so we saw a lot of cool tools this year that will allow you to start taking your live streams and not just be a talking head. We saw the Switcher Studio, which is an iPad app that allows you to do multi-camera production right from your iPhone and an iPad. You can bring in your own logo, you can play videos right off your camera roll. So if you had a commercial about your brand or you wanted to maybe have an about you video or even just take a break, you can actually play content right in the middle of your Facebook Live or your YouTube live streams. Of course, the Mevo camera is a very cool solution for going live. And then we also saw a lot of cool hardware for streaming. One was the Sling Studio, something that is brand new that allows you to do a multi-camera live streaming solution for a low cost price that's very user friendly. And then we also saw the Blackmagic Web Presenter, a simple box that at $500 allows you to plug in a higher quality camera into the HDMI port and then switch between sources at just the push of a button. So this would make it really simple to do a webinar, share a slide deck, and share some other content right in the midst of your live stream on Facebook or YouTube. And so pay attention to live, but ask yourself, how can I level up my live stream production this year? The second big trend we've been noticing is innovations for DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. You know, in a day gone by, Canon was the industry leader for shooting video on your mirrorless camera or your DSLR. But now we've seen the rise of Sony and Panasonic who are now setting the standard for these types of cameras and for creating video content on them. And so if you're looking to upgrade your camera this year, there's four features that are really important to me that I look for. The first one is in-body image stabilization. We're seeing with the popular camera, the GH5, or the camera that we've been shooting NAB at, the Sony A6500, is they have five axis in-body image stabilization, which means that you can now get incredibly steady handheld footage that has even real cinematic value to it. The second big feature I look for is autofocus during video. You know, for YouTubers, for content creators, a lot of us are one man, one woman bands, right? And so we wanna be able to set up our camera, set it to auto track our face, and be able to make sure that focus is right all the time. And so the Sony is crushing it with the live autofocus. We're also seeing, of course, Canon crush it with dual pixel, autofocus. And so these are the types of features I think are so important if you want to vlog or even if you're just shooting by yourself or even with the team. Touch screen autofocus so you can just tap on what you want to have in focus. And then the third feature that I recommend looking for if you're thinking about upgrading your camera is high frame rates. You know, back in the day, it was 24 frames a second or 30 frames a second was kind of the standard. But now, Panasonic and Sony and Canon are offering 60 frames a second, 120 frames a second, and even higher at times, which allows you more storytelling opportunities and slow motion. And so definitely look for those features if you're looking for a camera. And then the fourth feature is 4K. Now 4K is not completely mainstream yet, but we've been shooting all of our NAB content in 4K on a Sony A6500. And I think that 4K is coming quick. You know, with Netflix having UHD content, with these different brands, YouTube having 4K and supporting 4K content. I think smart influencers are thinking about their strategy for moving on to 4K. And so all in all, there's a lot of cool new cameras coming out from Panasonic, from Sony, from Canon. And so this is a great year to level up your gear, but make sure you get all the features that you want. 
And then the third trend that we noticed was VR and 360 content. Now this has not totally mainstream yet, but it definitely is the future with Oculus, with Samsung putting out goggles, with Facebook and YouTube supporting 360 content, it is coming fast. And one of the cool devices that we saw was the Yi VR 360 camera. It's coming out soon, only $400, and could do 5.7K VR content. Plus, it does auto stitching right in camera. So you could just go shoot a clip of a concert. You could shoot a clip of your office, of your business, that people could experience in 360 degrees. And because it does the auto stitching, there's no editing needed. You're just ready to go. It also will stream live straight from the camera right to Facebook or YouTube 360 live at 2.7K. So there's a lot of cool innovations and it's definitely something that we're paying attention to. Now for the fourth big kind of trend in online video that I'm paying attention to is stable video. Now we just talked about in-body image stabilization in these cameras, but I really believe this, that shaky footage is no longer okay when it comes to putting out content. The reason is most cameras are doing electronic image stabilization, some are doing optical image stabilization, but gimbals have become lower cost and more available than ever before. And so we saw Feiyu Tech, we've been working with companies like Evo Gimbals, we've been checking out all kinds of cool brands that have great gimbal stabilizers allowing everybody to start creating stable footage, whether with an action camera, whether with a point and shoot, or even with a mirrorless camera or a DSLR. It basically has allowed anybody, whether you're just a hobbyist traveling around to get smooth footage of your family vacation, or for content creators, to start producing high level cinematic production value at very low cost with a very ease of use. And so definitely be thinking, you know, if my footage is shaky, I need to correct that. Think about investing in a gimbal, thinking about finding ways to put out stable footage because I really believe that today, that's the industry standard. And the fifth and last trend that we really noticed this year is the merger between traditional and new media. You know, NAB is the National Association of Broadcasters. This event started all about broadcast television, broadcast media, big production crews, huge budgets, expensive cameras. But what we're seeing today is that the trend is leaning towards new media. While the old has not gone away, the new is here. And so that means social media live streaming, micro content on multiple different platforms. And so not only are the traditional media adopting those new forms of media, but it also is a huge opportunity for you and for me as content creators to build our influence and build our brand online. We are literally living in an age where the gatekeepers are gone, where anybody can get online and have global connectivity with the internet, who can leverage free platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and can take advantage of low cost tools to share your message, to build your influence, to build your income, and to make a greater impact in the lives of people. And so my biggest takeaway and the biggest trend I'm noticing is that you and me need to be building our influence and taking advantage of the era that we're living in. This is literally a communications revolution and it is time to jump online to build your brand, to build your business, and to make a greater difference and impact in people's lives and around the world with all of the innovations and the trends that are happening. I hope that you'll join me for the journey. Question of the day, what trends are you noticing in the online video and the live streaming space? And what are you paying attention to this year? Let me know in the comment section below. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more content like this to help you go further faster in media. And to see all of our videos and coverage from NAB, you can click the playlist right here or the link in the description below. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.